At least we only have three turns remaining for quest fetching. Major Sakuruma is still here again and, and all. Welcome to Bruma. Lyra Rosentia collects Akaviri artifacts. She might have a project in mind. Her house is west of the chapel. Sirok is a good healer. He's a red guard, but you'd think he was a Nord the way he acts. Then Lyra wouldn't. Rosentia collects Akaviri artifacts. She might have a project in. Lyra Rosentia. Good sure enough. Day. I'm Logvar. Hafid pays me to stand around and keep things quiet. Nords who drink either get friendly or mean. I'm here to deal with the mean ones. I was at Olav's earlier, and I ran into this Dunmer named Rainil Dreyless. After a round or two, he told me he was an honest-to-goodness vampire hunter. You too. What can I do for you? I understand Bumpf Bravash trains other Fighters Guild members on the proper use of heavy armors. Farewell. Okay, guess she doesn't do anything about I'm this. Far, the cook. We got genuine Skyrim cuisine. Fresh. Simple, big helpings, just like Mom used to make. We're still in Cyrodiil here in Bruma, but just barely. We build for the cold, just like in Skyrim. Sirok is a good healer. He's a red... Okay. Farewell. Say the same thing. I guess the cavalry thing, maybe I need to have uh, an cavalry weapon ready. Nothing more. Okay. Um. Not time to go fetching quest stuff. Uh, equipment for all this. Uh. I'm Alga. I'm a bard and a speechcraft trainer. Hanmund is my live-in partner. No offense, but I don't want to hear about any Mara Mother Mild and Chapel family business. Hanmund and I live together in the old Nord way. Good enough for my fa and ma, and good enough for me. Broom is a funny place, half Cyrodiil and half Skyrim. I'm old Nord all the way. I keep the old songs and stories alive. Everyone's saying there's trouble in Kavach. The whole town destroyed. Only a few survivors. You too. Hey. It's Good day. I'm Tolgan. Herald to Countess Narina Carvane here in Bruma. She requests your company at your earliest convenience. Jumpscare. Countess Carvane would prefer if you speak to her in person. She also said to present you with this stipend as a taste of things to come. My lady holds court from 8 in the morning until 6 in the evening each day. That would be the best time to see her. The Countess is in attendance from 8 o'clock in the morning until noon, and then again from 3 o'clock in the afternoon until 8 each day. If you wish to seek audience with her, please return at that time. You're also welcome to wait anywhere in the Great Hall. Good day. I'm Hold sorry, on. you must speak to Count. Okay, sure enough. Can I wait in peace in the cold outside? <laughs> I spoke. Skjorda, Nordwinds. We've got clothes and armor, and I've got a headache. So keep your voice down, please. We drink because we're happy. We're Nords. It's just the thick tongue and fat head the day after that makes me unhappy. A feed Hollow Lake says that Gerald Yu has been doing good business. Mm. 
Well, have a look around. You He's... won't find better prices in all Tamrio. There's no armor. Bye. I'm Ulfen, the light armor trainer. Skurda and I run North Wind. Please excuse us. We had a little drink up last night. <laughs> Still a little muzzy. And you're very black eyes. Just like Skyrim, except for all the tight ass Heartlanders around. All work and chapel. No wonder they're so sour. Sirok is a good he. Yeah, same thing. Knowledge is the key to success. You've got a lot to. Good that you. Alright, it is a little bit better. There's much I. So at least we have 5 speed for the next level, or 4 speed. Plus. What can I interest you in? Dundarans Juggernaut. That's. That's a big price. Unfortunate. Got Turkish stuff, though. I don't have the money. And for 10,000 items are sure worth uh, buying. Strength, endurance. Oh, but you get the speed. Uh, yeah, the speed is fine. Okay. You too. I'm scared. What do you want? Apparently, Right Wind teaches his blade skills to other Fighters Guild members. This is for later. Take care. Okay. We go to the, the, the castle last. Visited the... Alright, so there should be another quest. Got a free quest, that's cool. Why, hello there! You must be new. Oh, it's so nice to see new faces in the guild. If you ever need anything, just let me know. I have friends in all sorts of high places, you know, so I can get things done that others can't. And if I can do anything for you, I'd be happy to. Someday, maybe you could return the favor. Sure enough. Why, all the important people in the guild are there. Archmage Traven lives there, in the tower. It's a fabulous place. You really should see it someday. I've been there many times myself. The Imperial City just wouldn't be the same without it. Maybe someday, if you know the right people, you might get a chance to see it. You know what it's like. Make lots of friends and look busy. Same as anywhere. I heard that one of the Skingrad mages was assaulted, but I don't know the details. Uh members who have access to the university can craft their own spells not to mention chat with the most important people in the guild a recommendation from me well of course Raminus would naturally want my opinion wouldn't he this is a situation we can both benefit from associate you do me a small favor and I'll happily send along a glowing recommendation if you can find Jaskar, I'll write the recommendation immediately. Mm -hmm. He's disappeared. I mean, he's really disappeared. No one here has seen him in days. Valinaro thinks maybe a spell backfired. If someone from the council were to stop by and find him gone, it'd look bad for me. I can't have that. Talk to the mages here and see what you can find out. If you can make Jaskar reappear, You'll have your recommendation. Please come find me as soon as you've located your scar. Still know this stuff, huh? Volinaro, at your service. Need a spell? Need an item recharged? Need a witty practical joke played on someone? I can handle it all. What a lovely fellow. Have a look around. 
You won't find better prices in all Tamiya. Uh... You don't have any healing stuff, okay? I don't know what Archmage Traven has against necromancy, but the first thing he did after taking over the Mages Guild was to ban its practice. It's a little too rugged up here for me. Add a couple hairs to a Nord, and you've got a bear. Mm -hmm. It's a shame that Selena doesn't join in our fun, but she takes her role as an alchemist very seriously. If you need supplies, she's the one to see. You want to find Jaskar? All right, I think I can help with that, but you have to agree to do something for me first. And whatever you do, you can't tell Jean about it, all right? Fine. That's the spirit. You help me pull off a little prank, and I'll help you find Jaskar. With all due respect to our wonderful leader, she couldn't cast her way out of a paper sack. It's insulting that we're here, working for her, when she knows nothing. She's managed to butter up the right people just enough to keep her position, and there's little we can do about it. But we have our ways of coping with the situation. So we like it, politics? <laughs> really? You're going to love this. I'll teach you a spell to unlock things. What you need to do is get into Jean's desk and bring me her manual of spellcraft, okay? Her room is upstairs. Make sure no one sees you. You do that for me, and I'll make sure you can find Jaskar. I guess we can do this. I know that's crack. Let me know when you're done with that little task. Is there more people? Novista. Hmm. He's summoning a lot of things. My name is Selina Arania. I'm a Mage's Guild journeyman. Well, sometimes I feel we're not welcome here. The Nords don't like Heartlanders very much. Look, I like you and all, but if Volanara and Jaskar want to have their fun, fine. I'm not going to participate, and I'm not saying another word about it. Take it up with them. I don't know what she was saying. Okay, no, I won't say anything. I suppose I like her well enough. It's a shame she doesn't know more about her craft, though. Still, I don't quite think she deserves the hard time the others give her. Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you Major in? Major ones. Ding. I guess I should at least open easy luck. Alteration skill of 25. I don't think I have alteration 25. Thank you for your business. Goodbye. I need novice. It's 62. <laughs> Wait. Man, that's... That's even worse. <laughs> because... That's four times the cost. I only restore three times my health. Alright, then I see. Uh, 
Alright, so... I know that's correct. I guess I guess I have to do this uh, the old fashioned way. So I think I should do a separate save before doing anything else. We just go around just to make sure uh, we don't get detected. Good morning. Have you pulled that little prank yet? You've got Jean's book, I see. All right then, I'll just take that from you. Meet me in the living quarters just after 10 p.m. All right. Easy enough. <clears throat> I think I thought of everyone, so we can go to the fighters. I don't have hope about quest there because it did say only Shady Nar had or something. Also all the parts here look the same. But we'll go back later for for you too. That's... That sounds like work. What? I was at Olaf's earlier, and I ran into this gunner named... Indeed. Was it gear shift in? Basement. There's not a lot of people around. Oh. What do you want? You get used to the cold. Got a good set of fur boots to keep me feet warm. Give a Nord a good thumping to keep the blood flowing. Do you believe any of that talk about more Oblivion gates opening all over the place? Good day. What? Yeah. You think Bruma's cold? Try a winter in the rough Darians. Bruma's a day at the beach. I've heard Edla Darkheart was once an assassin. Alright, so I guess there's no deal master there. Hmm. Well, that's a uh, bummer for quest. Dude is not there. Ah! Maybe she's called Pelleting more at home. Hello there. What can I do for you? I overheard a guard mention the Countess is looking for a piece to add to her collection of Akaviri artifacts. Our taxpayers' drakes at work. Hmm. Goodbye. Okay, so I shouldn't be running for time working with breeds. Uh, all good. Alright, so now we have to do the left western side. Or south side, I guess. West castle. I have no time for your pathetic attempts at small talk. Now walk away before I get 
nasty. What can I do for you today? The Countess is Heartland Nibbanean, and so are most guildmen and chapelmen, but most others are as Nordish as you'll find. I overheard a guard mention the Countess is... Right, that was the basement story thing. Bandit's basement. Can I get into the basement actually? Hello. Jorandra. Okay, I guess I have a new thing. What is Jorandra? Duty call. Arnora and Jorunda were once a happy couple, but that's over now. I hear that he took all their money and stashed it after he committed a robbery. He was going to skip town on Arnora, but got arrested before making good on his escape. Now she has no money left at all. Worth it. Did you hear about Brayden Leary? A vampire. I've heard that rumor already. Jay Gasta. I guess it's Jay Gasta's house. Greetings. I'm Regner. If you want anything, talk to Edla. She's in charge. Hey, you're the one they call the hero. No, I hate it here. Came here with Edla. All these snooty southerners. And damn guards won't let anyone have any fun. Goodbye. Hmm. Arnora. <laughs> Can't you see that I'm upset? I can't help myself. I'm just a sucker for well-heeled men. That Olaf, for example, at the Tap and Tap. He's dreamy. And successful, too. It's a big amulet. I was at Olaf's earlier, and I ran into this... Our affairs are none of your business. I don't know who you are, and you think I'm going to talk to you about my ex-lover? Good riddance. All right. Some of the time. Got it. Today's your lucky day, so let's hear it. Huh. Angar, the world weary, they call me. I've been everywhere and done everything. Now I'm settled down for a good long rest. Bruma is a perfect town for a Nord man of leisure. Bracing mountain air, good food and drink, and lively Nord fellowship. I overheard a guard mention the Countess is. No, but listen. Goodbye. This was nothing much. You're going to have to leave. This is a crime scene. And no one other than ourselves, our Reynold Dralis, will be allowed access. Hmm. Hey, you're the one they... We know. The culprit in this crime has already been dealt with. It's just a matter of wrapping up the details. I'd tell you more, but frankly, I don't know who you are. So I'm not sure that I can trust you with that sort of information. Okay. What's the news? Notre la maison de Belle Nevi est dans Bulma, garde de mes Carly Soledelius m'a dit que c'était la scène d'un crime. Je me que garde, je la garde quelqu'un nommé le connu Grenier de la race. J'aurais quitté. Qui ah. donc qui? Euh... In 
Okay. Idol exploration. And then we can go to Countess. Hello. I'm Gan Lucef, castle mage and healer. Actually, I'm not much of a healer. I can blow the meat off you, but I'm not much good at sticking it back on. This is my first posting after Arcane University. The Countess and Bird like my work well enough. You see? I'm Ivara Shanit, Countess Bruma's steward. The Countess makes policy, leaving the details of administration to me. Captain Bird and I make a good pair. He understands Nords and the North, while I appreciate the subtleties of Southern culture and politics. Oh no. Good day. If maybe. Have enough politics in the uh, in the Mages Guild. It's I've heard much about your deeds from my people in Bruma. I trust the stipend Tolgan gave you whetted your appetite. Good point. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Countess Narina Kavain. I assume you've noticed all the Akaviri relics I display. Well, it's safe to say I'm a collector of sorts. I've invested a great deal of time and money acquiring these bits of ancient history. In fact, I'd be so bold as to proclaim my collection the most complete in all Cyrodiil, perhaps even beyond. Except for one thing. A particular relic has eluded me for many years. Possessing this piece of Akaviri antiquity would make my collection complete. I'm of course referring to the Draconian Madstone. Some see only the conflicts between northern and southern cultures, but I see the way they are stronger when woven together. The Count of Skingrad and I are not social intimates. In fact, I don't believe Janus Hisildur has any social intimates. He served Emperor Uriel for many years, and so far he has done well in an impossible situation. The stone is a fine bit of Akaviri craftsmanship. Worn like an amulet, this talisman is said to protect the wearer from poisons of any type. The madstone appears as a snake coiled around and encircling itself. The eyes of the snake are supposed to be precious gems or some such. Through my sources, I've learned that the last reported location of the madstone was the ruins at Pale Pass. Are you familiar with the history of Pale Pass? We do care. Excuse me. Back at the end of the first era, Raiders from the continent of Akavir attempted to gain a foothold here in Tamriel. At that time, the Empire was broken into smaller factions. Raymond Cyrodiil decided to unify them and form an army to repel the Akaviri raiders. The force became known as the Army of Raymond. The two armies clashed in what's now northern Cyrodiil. The Akaviri were strong and well supplied. But their greatest error was marching through Morrowind on the way to their objective and dismissing the response it would garner from Vivek. They didn't count on Lord Vivek forming an alliance with the trident kings of the Dreg. From Morrowind, he struck at their rear flank. Not only did this make the Akaviri fight on two fronts, it also cut off access to reinforcements and supplies from the sea. You must be joking, right? Who hasn't heard of the greatest known hero of the First Age? Raymond Cyrodiil not only was the conqueror of the Akaviri forces, but he actually convinced them to help build the Empire as it is today. With such an empire at his disposal, he conquered most of Tamriel, except Morrowind, of course, and was crowned Emperor. In fact, he instituted the rites of becoming an Emperor, which included the construction of the Amulet of Kings. 
His alliance with Lord Vivek during the Akaviri invasion is just one example of his cunning and ingenuity. Not quite. The army of Raymond knew that the organized Akaveri forces were commanded from a hidden post in the mountains. Rumors placed it in a snowy vale called Pale Pass. That's where Raymond focused his attention. As his forces fought their way across the Gerald Mountains, the Akaviri suddenly surrendered. It was assumed they were overwhelmed and gave up. The only strange part was that the command post and Pale Pass were never found. It was dismissed as a rumor, and the army of Raymond celebrated. It's come to my attention that the post did exist, and it happens to be the last reported location of the Draconian Madstone. If you retrieve the Draconian Madstone for me, I'll be happy to compensate you by rewarding you with another Akaviri artifact. Are you game? Yes, game. I had a feeling you'd accept. Good. Then let me tell you how you're going to find the Madstone. I've come into the possession of a diary, written by an Akaviri messenger. I suspect that the text within can lead you to the ruins. Here's a translation of the passages we could still read. It was quite damaged. I've also included a rough map that was drawn in the diary as well. I'm also providing you with a unique key that was supposedly found with the diary. I'm assuming it'll prove useful when you arrive at the site. I paid several scouts to try and find the ruins at Pale Pass before I hired you. They were only able to locate the first of a series of landmarks. These landmarks are mentioned within the diary. The one referred to as Dragon Claw Rock has been located. I'll mark it on your map. The rest is up to you. My scouts reported bitter, cold, and dangerous creatures in the area, so they couldn't proceed. Be cautious and return home soon. Good luck. Wait. The messenger's diary will make a nice companion to the mad stone in my collection. May the path ahead be free of danger. Uh, mm, mm. Oh, that's far away. <laughs> so we'd have potentially to f have to fight bears and werewolves. So this might be scared for a later bit. So I want to do the road to the crowd road temple, so at least I can have quote unquote the good unlock for the, this uh, fast travel point. Um. Yeah, next map would be Vertelus or Julianus. Alright, that's a lot of dialogue, so <laughs> when I get through this, I will read this. But for now, I will not do the big quest. Um... Alright, so now I need to actually get out. To join the crowd temple. Just for the waypoint. And then we go back to Mitch's kill and do that quest. So how much I'm winning? Good. There's not a lot of things going on in between. Okay, so that's a quick point to, to go back. I 
this I can heavily practice acrobatics. <laughs> Enough. Back to Mage's Guild. Now we do. We finish off the one quest. So 10 pm. Ready to find Jaskar? Just watch, you'll see. Hello there, I hear you've been looking for me. Oh, please don't be mad. We were just having some fun. We just got tired of Jima lording her position over us when she barely knows anything about magic. Every now and then, to trick her. Eh, we figured it was time to move on to a new prank. This one was getting boring anyway, so you can tell her you found me. Well, it was fun while it lasted. I'll have to start thinking up something new to try. A jolly fellows. The Mage's Guild runs more or less like it always did. But we lost quite a few members when the practice of necromancy was banned. Finding ways to confuse her just never gets old for me. It's good practice of our skills, too. <laughs> it's mostly just funny. There's not much to do here in the Bruma Guild. If you can get to the Arcane University, though, they let you make your own spells there. Good day. Right. That's a quest done. Any luck finding Jaskar? Found him, did you? Well, I suppose that's good. You'll have to forgive me. I seem to have misplaced something. Hmm. Yes, well, let's never mind that. You fulfilled your end of the bargain, though, so I'll fulfill mine. Ramanus will have my recommendation. And don't you forget about me once you've finished your training. I'm sure we can help each other out. Hey. Goodbye. So now, uh, I guess I can still go to the to that to that point there. It's not too much trouble if I stay outside. Maybe I can find another cave on the way. And then I guess... Uh, I've done the horrors. I guess I can go back towards the Imperial City and... Make the way to Shainit Hall and start a battle of a quest, but... That's a long way to go. So I need to leave up from north. The most danger I can get is having the bear. I guess that's a good thing I actually stayed to the south for quite some time. I think the most dangerous is the northern side. I need to actually go <coughs> the other way. I need to do a few more quests to be able to reach out to the others. Uh, 
a stable. So. Okay. That's one mine. Good knowledge. That's a fairly good beginning. Not too far off either. That's nice. I can go there if I guess I can at least discover. Them quickly. You have a dwarven hex. Uh, I think I have those funny things. Alright, so Goblin Cave. That would be easy to do. Yes, yeah, so the thing I would need to do to be able to use that thing, that spell correctly, is to actually gain more willpower. I guess we detect those things, those places from far away. Alright, and be, because it's in Shady in Hall, that the Fighter's Guild actually has actually another quest. So it's double the, the deals. Gives us scary. The bear. Right. So now I can go back to this. I did a repair thing. So nice. Fair bit of gold. I guess I can use the uh, six rock picks, that's nice.
this like bone uh, shit in uh, armor. That's a door and mace. What's my electric? Take the steel at all. more I don't think this will give a lot of uh, equip. Much more funny to have uh, the skeletons go down like this. And that's the replay, that's kind of dangerous actually. One down, at least. It's a bit too far for <laughs> three at once. Especially if I lose all of the. Uh, like most of the gains. For some reason, this guy died early too.
potential restore health potion. Nice, only one. Immediate recovery, also good. Okay, I should do this now. Uh, venison. Oh, it's feather. Unlucky. Still need some more uh, be able to do things. I don't think I recorded uh, new things in the meantime. Endurance, no. Hmm. How are we on this? Uh, alchemy 47, still need a fair the way to go. Speed. Oh, that was a, a short one. Never mind. We missed the whole section. I need to have some better hand to hand combat. <laughs> I believe the rule, the rule should have changed for those. Else. Right. Not ten. Good. Drag dolls. I do appreciate it.
Seems like we got the crush coming. But this is crush after the <laughs> coming in. Yep. Alright. Time to go back again. After door. Okay, so I only have one enemy to refight. Even the other to get through. Okay, up. I think I should have repaired everything. Oh, but I had that other chest open too, I think. No, it was before. Okay, never mind. We're good. Actually, we still got the uh, <laughs> that guy frying. That's pretty okay to still have that. Right, I'm taking a quick save now. Okay, so if we do this now, the first two will be allotted. Okay, through twice. Excellent. Nice. Uh, repair. Not quite yet for level next. Oops. I'm not losing this many picks. Where is my mouse? Alright, let's give this for now. I do not want it to quick save, but shut up.
This, this guy had to be in the way for the full damage after the knockout. The knockout also works much better than the... Don't have weapons anymore. Maybe it works better with dual wield. Oh, these are two-handed weapons. I feel like the mines are giving much more in the needs. Still impossible to collect anything from those almost. I'm just unlucky. I should go for Brunt actually. I didn't have any progression on Brunt in a while. I kinda want to see how the, the Ebony works. So okay, the Ebony axe is kind of uh, a bit cut down from below. Oh, you are stuck far away. And you really don't like the Vine. Wait, someone, someone, something's doing a lot of damage. <laughs> That goblin has a lot of uh, magic in mind. I 
it. it that thing has a lot of uh, of magic. I have like nothing to restore health easily too. Shaman is sure has a lot in store. Oh, oh yeah, you do have a lot of uh, <laughs> of healing stuff. All right, okay, so I guess I'll talk badly to against goblins anymore. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, yeah, I really need to have something to actually be able to restore the. Uh, to restore the mana quickly for me, and at least I have uh, much more uh, a third tier of ingredients so I can finally get access to... ...that thing. Yeah. A higher chance to have the... Restore health and stuff above at this point. Dot and stuff. How can I sell this thing? It's so far out, but how can I sell? This is like a fake uh, ending. All right, let's try our worst. It's a bit better. Uh, how much are we? We are still far away. Brock. Uh, Brady Sun at 81, okay. Brunt uh, is... Quite a bit away from 60. Okay. So if I do hand to hand combat, it should be a bit easier, but I also need to make sure I can reverse that other chest. Alright. Good. Good chest. You only had money, but you didn't take any luck, so that's a nice compensation. A bow. And you're also in the way. This one is still alive. Nice to both flew away once. And another one. Nice. 
Nice. Well, that's more like pick at least. That's the only thing they can give me. Alright, I guess. Oh, nice, four. Alright, okay, I guess I can wait an hour and getting <laughs> lots of. And this is a whole massacre. Everything flew <laughs> away. I actually get some more bonus lockpicks and stuff. Good news. We went the longer as well. Now that's fine. I can do more jumping and drain my uh, agility or strength. Well, strength is almost at the max at this point. Alright, well done, Keith. <clears throat> well done. In this... Uh, and then... And then... Uh, I don't have much more. Or oh, free... Uh, can equip... This uh, shock shield. Like, not a lot. Nice. So next... Um, so it cost us potential there, so yeah. We'll go down and try to go to Shading Hall next, so starting point towards the Hollow. Don't have anything to sell. I believe. Alright, there's a good the glass dagger still. Oh, and there's also that stuff. Hmm. That's a, that's a fair bunch to do. I believe the other quest I can't really do much now because they don't uh, want to tell me anything. Well, it's safe for the landmark stuff, but let's bear. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> like, it's just, you know, I don't want to do things, so... <laughs> you have to come back later when you are famous or something. Great spirits from those people. <laughs> 